In this video I'm going to show you how to make a clock just like this one. So I used the laser engraver to cut this out and here's the file on that. Uh, that'll be down in the description for you to download if you want to use that. But I used an epilogue laser to cut these shapes out. Uh, I used wood and acrylic, uh, an eighth of an inch thick for all the pieces. So here's cutting out the wood. I put a layer overneath to stop the burning there. And then the pieces all fit together nicely, and there's the hole in the middle for the clock mechanism. And then I'm doing this during the coronavirus thing, so it would be easier just to use materials and the colors that you wanted, but you could spray paint, or like I'm doing here, just cover it in vinyl, because I wanted the black part to be white. So I'm just covering it in vinyl here. I was thinking it might be cool to even cover it in fabric or something, so you can do a bunch of different materials, just try stuff out. But then you can peel it off and there you can see it all fits together and looks pretty cool. So now we're going to start gluing it all together. So I used this kind of negative piece to help me situate it all. And I uh, used painter's tape. It's helpful if you have somebody else help you. But hold it all together really tightly and just use the painter's tape to hold your pieces together on the front side exactly how you want them. So this will just help in the gluing process to make sure nothing shifts on you or anything like that. So once you have it taped, flip it over and then take your background piece and that's what you're going to glue. So I use super glue just because that's what we had on hand again. Didn't want to go to the store and it sets quick and it worked fine. So turn that over, let it set, push it hard, clamp it if you need to depending on what type of glue you're using but there you go. I used the straw to help me align that middle one and then just peel your tape off on the front after it's all cured of course and then you can see your clock face. Next we're going to start assembling the clock mechanism. So just follow the directions according to the clock. I'd never done it before but it worked, you know, it's pretty easy. I'll have the link in the description to the exact mechanism I used which was silent and sweeping so it doesn't have that ticking sound. Um, but it's been working great so far. And just hang up your clock and enjoy that thing. So what's nice is that one comes with a little thing to hang it up. And there you go. Boom! A new clock. Oh my gosh. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, the link will be down in the description to get everything you need. And if you don't have a laser engraver, let me know. Send me a message or an email because I'm thinking about making these components and selling them on Etsy. But that's it. Give me your thoughts and ideas and improvements in the comments. And back to me on the couch. Well, the video's over. Thanks for watching and sticking around to the end. Just wanted to let you know I also have a podcast called Curiosityness where I interview interesting people and talk about cool things and fun stuff that you might find interesting. That's at curiositiness.com and you can check that out and subscribe for free wherever you listen to podcasts. Like recently I interviewed an archaeologist who is an expert on Stonehenge because I had always thought Stonehenge was a big mystery and we didn't know a lot about it but it turns out we know a lot about who built it, why they built it, and how they built it. So it was pretty fun and interesting to go through that whole timeline and story of Stonehenge and the structure and learn about why it even exists. So if you want to check that out, you can click somewhere up here and uh, view that interview. And I also do lots of projects, DIY kind of stuff where I share what's going on and how to make it. Um, like recently I made some DIY concrete letters for kind of your garden or outdoor area um, like this and I uh, kind of did a whole step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to make those if you're interested which you can check by clicking around up here again too to view that so I do a lot of you know projecty type stuff like that also if that's what you're you're into so if you want to join me I'd also love it if you subscribe to this channel hit the like button on this video it really helps with the algorithm and all that stuff that these other youtubers tell you um, that's all I have to say thanks for being here and uh, goodbye